Welcome back everyone to another episode of Treasure Adventure Game. Let's see if we can make it to the town of Samora this episode. I sure hope so. Oops, one second. Maybe just make sure that I've selected the right option. And there we go. Okay, last episode we've got to make it. We died on this cave. It was our first death. So, let's try to repay that bug in kind for killing us. He took me off guard. Enemies usually have red eyes if they're evil, and not red eyes if they're not evil. Since that bug did not have red eyes, I thought that hey, he was a buddy I could talk to. Well, I'm not going to let my guard down this time. I'm going to teach everyone the error of their ways. Alright, so this time we'll try to make it through here without actually getting hurt. <coughs> How are we supposed to actually make it through here without getting hurt? Or just run? Okay, so... Uh, run! There we go. That is the tightest little jump. Do I need to go back down here and push this little block puzzle into place? I think so, because I think when I died my progress got reset. That's terrible. Alright, let's just try to be careful here and not accidentally break the puzzle and push that button down there. Still don't know what the button does, but I guess we can figure that out a bit later on. Right, once we get up here, we can jump and go further on in the cave, which is where we want to go. Let's attach ourselves to that and head in here. This was a nasty little area before, which gave us a lot of problems because of the wind currents and the shaky ground and it's so confusing and right little mister pill bug evil guy I know what you're gonna do this time so jeez I can't hurt you you just ah and we die again this is not boating well that that bug is a killer hmm I wonder if there's some sort of way I'm missing, or if I'm just not supposed to suck as much as I do. That's probably it. That, cause that bug is keeping quite a firm guard on that area. Let's just go up here. And, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, it's like almost pixel perfect, but that's fine. That's fine, we can do that. And let's solve this puzzle for the third time! Yay! For repeating content. I don't know why I'm pushing this red button, but whatever. Hurrah! Press. Success to us. Now this time, instead of going up to obvious death with the pill bug, how about we go somewhere else and try to... Uh, let's just not fall down there. Is there a path down there? I don't know. And I'm not actually keen to find out. It looks like death and I hate death. Uh, come on, there we go. Uh, Alright, it's not that scary, it's just a little off-putting. Are you an evil guy? Good. Greetings, stranger. I'm the mayor of... This is Samora. I thought that Samora was like an above ground town, but whatever. Sorry, I can't really talk. I've got a lot on my mind. If you're looking for the general store, I'm afraid you're out of luck. It's on the other side of this bridge, which has fallen into disrepair thanks to those ground quakes. Nearly everyone in town is evacuated and it's up to me to rebuild. But I'm surrounded by incompetence. I'll never be able to get this bridge fixed at this rate. By the way, if you run into a roach on the other side of the bridge, ask him why the repairs are taking so long. Alright, is this bridge possible to cross? No, it does not look like it. Can I attach myself to the hook? I can obviously jump down there and collect, um, 
the little item there, but let's just... Yeah, I don't think this jump is possible. How about I just jump and collect the item. Now let's go down quickly and save it because if I die horribly, I hope that my progress is actually saved in terms of button pushing and not. Let's try to deal with Mr. Roly Poly Pillbug again. This, we're spending a lot of time on this area. It's quite difficult, actually. But we will not let that stop us. Difficulty has never stopped us before. At least that bridge is open, and at least the button's still pressed, so... Progress! Right, Mr. Pillbug, you think you're big and tough and mean, huh? I'm tempted to jump down there now. Whee! Yep. Something like that was going to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> Whee! Whee! Jump! 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 Against the wind current! Right, now you're an evil Mr. Bug Guy. How about I just try to... Uh, and, mm, there we go, we got it. Jump! jump and can I talk to you? Sorry about my brother down there. Yeah, you better apologize. He's a little slow and he doesn't care much for strangers. You're looking for the general store? You're out of luck. It's on the other side of the broken bridge. Well, I've been told that twice now. I'm trying to get over there too. But the mayor is an old coot who can't seem to get anything done. I don't have time for that, and it looks like neither do you. I know for a fact that there's another way over there, just past this gate. If you can figure out how to open it, it'll get us both where we need to go. Alright, so if I just jump and jump, and there we go, and send Mr. Birdie off onto a death adventure. Go Mr. Birdie guy, I believe in you. Oh crap. This is fun, I like, um, this is... This reminds me very much of the old Donkey Kong Country games where you control animals sometimes. And uh, my expertise is not controlling animals, it's controlling people. And uh, there we go, just need to get Mr. Rock. And it looks like I need to bring Mr. Rock all the way around, so... Flap your wings as hard as you can, Mr. Bird Guy, and watch out for the spiny mans. They can hurt us! And we don't want to be hurt. Right, at least the rock's on this side now, so we've got that going for us. At least I can kind of scooch across the ground while carrying the rock, so that's a good thing. Just put the rock down there. Drop it. Drop it! Bird, drop. Drop it, bird. There we go. Now, kindly hurt yourself so we can go see what that did. Right, do I need to jump down there now? Let's take a look. Let's be careful to not accidentally hurt ourselves and nope. It doesn't look like that we go this way, but I bet that opened the bridge and I sure hope I don't need to solve that rock puzzle again. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I don't know. I just have no desire to progress past this cave today. Ah, oh, come on. I sure hope the gate is open still. Why did I go and do something stupid like that? Jump? Oh, jeez. You're supposed to actually jump up there, Mr. Rolly Polly Pillbug guy. But whatever. We'll just ignore you. And hurrah, the gate's at least still open. So, here we go. Whoa, you did it! Well, uh, anyway. See you around. Well, I'll see you around, Mr. Craig guy. Let's bust this open so we have a way to getting back up here. Push. And jump up here. And pray that we don't accidentally die. Because that would be a bummer if we did that. Right, looks like this is the way over the bridge. We don't want to fall down, so... Not even for the money. So we'll just quietly progress over to the other side. 
And we'll see why this wrench is being so lazy and not actually fixing the bridge. Why are you not fixing the bridge, Mr. Roach Guy? Mr. Roach Guy, the mayor asked me to... The mayor tasked me with fixing this bridge. I rebuilt it and hooked it up to this windmill so we could lift it into place. But I forgot that there isn't any wind inside this cave. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe I should have thought about it more. Well, I don't have any wind powers, so I guess you're kind of stuck there for the moment. Oh, Candy cane. Monstrous. I can't believe this general store has been abandoned. I travelled for days to get here. I wanted to buy a new stove. By the way, have you noticed that if you move an object around and leave the area and come back, sometimes the object moves back to its original position? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, I know. The workings of... Okay, so this is obviously a puzzle. I need to push the blocks onto the three buttons. And I bet that opens the gate and I bet that, bet that we can collect the treasure that way. So let's start solving this puzzle. I'm not super good at block puzzles and... So yeah, viewers, you're warned. Please don't get too angry. But fortunately this one's quite obvious, so if I just maybe push this... Wait, before I push that one down, I'm going to jump up here and push it this way. Because if I push it to the left, it'll get stuck. Alright, so now that's done. I can push this down here. And finally, down here and onto the button. Button number one. Okay, now we go back up. Push this block down and push this onto button number two. I like puzzles, they're fun. Push, 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 and down. Let's get button number three done. Let's just take a look. And lo and behold, the gate actually opens. So we decide whether or not we need to push this to the right or the left. I believe it's to the left. Wait a second. I believe so, yes. There we go. So now we kind of walk under it, if we can. Did I screw up somehow? No, wait, I, it's not screwed up. There we go. Okay, push this down here. Climb up and around, push the block down there, and puzzle solved! There we go. And let's collect. Our sail! We got a sail! Hurrah! Fantastic for us! We can now leave this horrible place. There's obvious there's nothing at all we need to do here anymore. Alright. The Maritime yeah. Um I don't think there's anything else I can do. What's done here? Giant buggy thing. The ground quakes have been opening all sorts of natural geysers in this area. Some of them just spew air, but some, like in here, are spewing fire. It was enough to drive most people out of Samara. But I've stayed behind for scientific purposes. I'm trying to discover new ways to harness natural energy sources. Aren't you. Oh, Aren't you bugs supposed to be, um, like, the magic side of everything? So why why can't you just use some sort of, like, animal magic to help you with this? I don't even know. Let's just try to go down and not actually get crispied up by the fire. And jump over here. And jump over here. And jump down here. And go through the door. Yep, let's push this block so we have a way of getting back up. Let's go down and save it real quick. And then climb back up. And see what's through the door up there. I wonder if I can actually move that. We got a sail and compass at last, and we're outside. We should check back in with Bagus at the museum. 
Yeah, we should, but before we do that, I don't think we're actually finished in here. I just want to see if I, it's possible for me to lift and move that little flask up there, because if I can, then I can kind of move stuff around. No. Well, that was a waste of time! But we're not unfamiliar with wasting time, so let's just get out of here. We And through the door, and outside of this door, and out into the everything. Alright, so we climb down here, and we see where we are. Welcome to Samora Island. We want to go back to Bagus, so let's equip our treasure map and go this way. Although I don't I don't think I really needed to equip the treasure map since you can only head from the left to the right. But I equip it anyway because it's force of habit. I played the game since I did it that one time that's enough to force a habit. So just ugh, make the world a better place and go out and hopefully our cell makes our little boat go faster Hurrah! jump splooch and it does goody for us we're a right good professional little sailor now aren't we it took us a while but we've finally made it So yeah, it's night time. I don't know if there's actually a way to skip it to daytime, but I don't think that's really important. We're finally making progress in this game. It took some time. I'm inept at some adventure games, it seems, but we're going good now, I believe. And we're back on the island where Bagus is. Let's go up and say hi to him. Wow, you actually found a compass and sail. That's great. Quick, come inside. I'm going to teach you how to be a great adventurer. Oh, this sounds like fun. But we might save it because this lesson might be lethal. Wow, you did it. You found a compass and a sail. I never should have doubted you, kid. Listen, there's something about that sea chart I didn't tell you. I've seen it before. It's what originally led me to this island. You see, years ago my partner, his young son and I were searching for a legendary temple. It was claimed that it contained a chamber that could grant people immeasurable power. That room is located deep in what is now the basement of this museum. It's not really a basement as much as it is a temple. Built by a self-proclaimed wizard who's been dead for centuries. He built it to protect the immense power that he had accumulated to defeat an evil demon. He cleverly designed it so that all twelve of his enchanted possessions had to be gathered together and brought here in order to gain access to the secret room. My partner, his son and I gathered all twelve artifacts. We brought them to this island, brought them to this island navigated our way through the treacherous temple and found the room. However, something went wrong. There's no need to go into the details. Yes, there is. Mr. Bagus, you shouldn't be hiding stuff from us because we're that kid in question, or at least we think we are. But all that matters is my life's work was ruined. The 12 artifacts we had hunted for were scattered across the earth along with all my notes and maps. My life dream is to unearth these artifacts and share them with the world. But now I feel it's also important to protect them from those who might try to use them for the wrong reasons. So I built this museum here to house the 12 artifacts as I collected them from around the world again. You know what, that's a brilliant idea! Immeasurable, pow immeasurable power nestled underneath the museum and to prevent people from using the 12 artifacts to get the power you store the 12 artifacts on top of the immeasurable power in question that's awesome you don't even need to let the guy go to the trouble of collecting them it's like his 
Oh, man. The problem is I've gotten too old for that kind of adventure. But fate must have brought you here through that map of yours. So what do you say? Want to help me unearth this ancient mystery? Sure, this cannot go wrong. I even know where we can start. I've been doing some research and think that I've located the first artifact again. I made a map for you. You're going to have to travel farther than you have before. This map I'm giving you will require you to travel to the east. It will then lead you to the first artifact. If you're still confused about how to use your compass, try reading this book. Good luck, kid. You got a treasure map. Well, that wasn't so much of a lesson as it was just a massive pile of exposition, but whatever. Um, we got some time. So how about we go and see where this new treasure map leads? We want to go to the east, and it's quite far to the east, actually. That has not stopped us before! Let's go! Wee Sailboat! I sure hope no scary monster actually just suddenly appears from the right, because I won't have any time to react to it! That's amazing! Wee! This is fun! We're going sailing! We're going sailing, Mr. Bird Guy! you got to move faster! Because I'm going faster than you. Damn, the fish are really aggressive today. Oh well. Let's go up here and go through the monster cave. But since we actually got hurt, how about we use this opportunity to save and restore our life? Wonder what was stopping us from just heading to the right in the first place? Why did we actually specifically need a sail to progress? We would have eventually got there and it just would have been slow. Ah, Mr. Plant Guy's there. We'll just ignore Mr. Plant Guy. And progress further on! Wee sploosh! Hurrah! Ooh, rocky waters. I guess we're open. We're out in the open sea now. This is amazing! We've still got to head to the east though. So let's continue heading to the east. That's an interestingly shaped island. It kind of looks like a battleship. Wee, where are we? Welcome to Collegial Island. Collegial Island, I guess. There's cactuses and crabs. The um other eight-legged monstrosity. I guess you're an evil guy because you're trying to attack me, aren't you? What are you trying to do? Oh well, can I talk to you? No. And apparently I can't teach you either, so how about I just try to kind of just ignore you and progress this way? Oh no! There's sand and but and crabs! Damn crabs! Let's just ignore you and try to jump up here and collect Mr. Oh god, we're gonna die. Well, this island is not where we want to go, so let's just ignore it and progress on. Wood. And pray that we don't die. That would be terrible if we died. It would be the worst if we died. I wish there was a save point on that island. Ooh, lightning. New island's time. What island is this? Welcome to Tenerife Island. Are we close? No, we're not. Not at all. Save point! Hurrah! Save point! yee Can't fall down into the traps. Otherwise... Um, I don't know. Don't get caught by the quicksand, Mr. Purple Hat Guy! Oh, there's a little walking cactus man. Oh, jeez. It's an evil walking cactus man. I thought it was like some guy doing a hilariously poor disguise, but no, it's actually a real cactus who has the ability to just spew out cactus spines everywhere. That's an amazing ability. Let's just try to climb across and here. There we go. Once again, we got a bit hurt. Let's go down, restore our health, and then go up and deal with crab faces. Whee! Jump! And we've got off-axis jumps now. We can springboard. 
Spring, spring, and spring. Oh god. I can't hurt you guys, so just leave me alone. Alright. Jump. 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 Can I push this block? Or is it just a bit too big and heavy for us? Nope, we're Superman. We can push this obviously extremely heavy block around like it was no thing. Push! That achieved absolutely nothing! I'm glad that that achieved absolutely nothing. I'm happy that our time is... Ooh, doors. Which we cannot go through yet! One looks like the sun and one looks like the two moons. A saloon. Let's go into the saloon. Hello, Mr. Saloon Patrons. Jonah. Have you ever seen a giant red tusk scarab? You don't know it if you had, Hick. Listen, youngster. If you ever run into one, make sure you're wearing something purple. The color purple scares them and it's the only thing that'll keep them from tearing you apart. Anything purple will hurt. Well, anything purple will work. Shoes, pants, a hat, Hick. Well, fortunately, we've actually got a purple hat. But what was that thing? Giant red tusked scarab. I have not seen one of those. Hey, what brings you all the way to the desert? Treasure? Ha 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 ha! I haven't seen any treasure hunters around here in at least ten years. They used to love exploring the pyramids nearby. I don't think they ever found anything, though. That's a shame. Mindy says, when I was younger, my boyfriend and I used to sneak into the pyramids near here. It was dangerous and exciting. The doors to the pyramid are only open at certain times of the day. We used to sneak in during the middle of the night to, uh, fool around. Charming. That was a long time ago, though. Now he works on cargo ship for Globocorp, and I hardly see him anymore. That's tragic. Let's go up and save it. And this episode's running kind of long, so I guess... I guess I'm going to call a break. But before I do that, I just want to take a look in the basement. Whee! Ooh, shady guy. We've been having a big shark problem around here lately. I think they're attracted to the warm water. That's why I've been making my own shark repellent. Business has been booming. Would you like to buy a spray? Keep in mind that it only works for a limited time. It's best to buy it right before you're going to be in contact with sharks. We'll buy some um, anti-shark repellent a little bit later. I haven't seen any sharks yet, so I guess we don't need it. Um, I guess that's it for now everyone. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.